Hi, I'm Lucas, kids reporter for Rules for Life. I am Kitty Fortalia. Today we are going to take a closer look at taking a break and resting. Sundays are a good time for everyone to take a rest. Did you know that some states in Malaysia have different rest days? Yes, Kelantan, Terengganu, Kedah, and Johor have their weekends on Friday and Saturdays, whereas the other states are Saturday and Sunday. That means some kids in Malaysia start their school week on Sunday. Can you imagine? Yup, in Kelantan, Terengganu, Kedah, and Johor are Islamic states in Malaysia. And for Muslims, their holy day is Friday. So they have Friday and Saturday off as their weekend. Interesting, huh? That's all from us. This is Lucas and Leanne reporting for Rules for Life. For this week, the fourth commandment that we're learning is from Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 10. Remember to keep the Sabbath day as a holy day. You may work and get everything done during the six days each week, but the seventh day is a day of rest to honor the Lord your God. Rules for Life number four says that we have to have a day to rest and worship. God is telling us to not forget to take a day to rest in God and worship Him. Of course, we are supposed to worship God every day. We should read our Bibles every day and pray every day and do kind things every day. But this commandment tells us we are supposed to take one day out of the whole week to make it special a time for God. The Sabbath day is a day to rest, relax, focus on God and most importantly, to learn to rest in God. The Bible uses the word Sabbath, referring to this very special day of rest. What does it mean? Sabbath is a Greek word we have to remember. The Sabbath day and keep it holy. Sabbath simply means a day of rest from labor or work. Taking time out of work is actually something everyone should do. In fact, many companies have rules that says an employee must be at least given one day off after six days of working. This same rule applies to children as well. In fact, it is for everyone, not just working people, even kids like us need a break. That's why we only go to school Monday to Friday, so we get two days off of the weekend, so that we can rest. But for us, we have to remember to rest in God. Worshipping him. Hi! Did you know studies have shown that if we do work for long hours, it's really bad for our health. If we get and we can get depression, heart diseases, memory loss, and more. The more stressed you are, the worse your body will feel. The effects on your health and well-being are bad. You become unfit and your mind and your body will just feel worse and worse. If we don't rest eventually, it will lead it will lead horrific to horrific, maybe even tragic results. Kids reporter Natalie has the story. We found an article. There was a team. 17 years old who used all his time to stay in his room day and night to play computer games during the school holidays. Hours and hours in his room without a proper break. His parents even tried to take food into his room, but he refused. At the end, the teenager fell to the ground and sadly passed away. The doctor said the teenager died of the stroke caused by stress to the body for not resting at all day and night for days. But do you know what? God knew the dangers of not resting and made it a commandment so that we would always take a day to rest, to worship Him. Let's watch. Hey, hey, are you asleep? <sighs> I 
was just resting. You said you were going to tell me what the Sabbath is. I'm showing you instead of telling you. Sabbath means rest. Resting is good for you. Even God does it. God sleeps? Then how would he take care of us? He doesn't sleep, but he does rest. Remember when God created the earth? Yeah, on the first page of the Bible. The Bible describes creation like six days of work. On the seventh day, God said what he had made was good. So he took a break. He stopped creating. He rested. Yep, but the Bible has a lot more to say about resting on the seventh day. It does? Do you remember Moses? He was the baby in the basket, right? And led the Israelites out of Egypt? That's him. When Moses led God's people, the Israelites, through the desert, they complained because there wasn't any food. So God took care of them. When they woke up the next day, they found manna on the ground. Manna? What is that? The Hebrew word manna actually means, what is it? It was special food from heaven. They didn't know what it was. But if they tried to get enough for the next day, it would go bad and get worms in it. Ooh. Except for the sixth day of the week, God sent twice as much manna because no manna would be there on day seven. Why did he do that? God wanted them to gather enough for two days so they could rest on the seventh day, just like God did when he created the world. Wow, resting must be important if God made a whole day for it. God called the day of rest the Sabbath. He made the day holy or set apart. Resting is even one of the Ten Commandments God gave to Moses. So when we rest on the Sabbath, we're obeying God's command. And we're showing that we trust God to take care of us, just like he took care of his people in the desert. God takes care of me and wants me to rest? Good, because all this rest talk is making me sleepy. So we learned today that rest is important. So important that God made a rule for us for life to follow. It doesn't really matter which day your family chooses to rest. What matters is that you use that day to recharge your body, mind and spirit and rest. But not just rest doing nothing, but rest in God. God gives rest that no one else and nothing else can give. And we find that rest when we put aside all our work, our worries, and worship God. So remember kids, our fourth rule for life is have a day to rest and worship. The memory verse we have for you today is Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. You should not stay away from church meetings, as some are doing, but you should meet together and encourage each other. Do this even more as you see the day coming. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving me so much to remind me to rest and worship in you. No one else gives good rest like you do. Amen. If God created the earth six days and rested one day, even though he didn't need to, he must have known how important it is to rest. Date 16 May 2021 Rule number four. I must keep my Sabbath holy, a special day to rest and worship God. God loves us so much that He knew that we needed to take a break from work and just rest in God. I must remember this. Rest in Him. Do you remember the rules for life we've learned so far? Here are some kids reporters helping us to remember. Let's follow along! First commandment, I am the Lord your God. Second commandment, no other gods. Third commandment, respect God's name. Fourth commandment, have a day to rest and worship. Look out for your mailbox! Because we've sent you our Travel with Jesus Expect Miracles parcel! Hope you receive yours soon! And this school holiday, we have a very special program for you kids! It's called WOW Kids Discovery! 
wonder of wonders. Kids Discovery is a three-day children's online program to discover God through science experiments and craft projects. We will have Pastor David and Cynthia Leung from Singapore share God's amazing message for us each day. In the afternoon, there is a super fun science or craft workshop that let us discover God's great wonder that is all around us. So make sure you mark these dates. 2nd, 3rd and 4th June of this year. It starts at 10.30am. We're going to have live worship and some games. And then Pastor David and Cynthia is going to take over. It's 80 ringgit for kids 8 to 12 years old and 60 ringgit for kids aged 5 to 7 years old. And every registered participant will have a WOW Kids Discovery Pack delivered to your house with all the materials you need for just the three days. And there is a family discount of RM20 off applies for second child onwards. And every one of you will be having so much fun. And for kids who may need a sponsorship, do not worry. Please feel free to reach us at this email or our phone number right here. And kids, we have a special class just for you. It's called, Am I Normal? Or is this just a phase? It's about recognizing signs of stress and how to cope with it. It's an online event designed especially for children 7 to 12 years old. We're going to spend one hour talking to the kids and one hour talking to the parents about how to help children have an awareness about stress and how to manage it and overcome it. And the speaker is Dr. Yo Pei Li. She was a trained psychiatrist who's able to give very practical coping skills on how to reach out and help the children overcome stress. And parents are encouraged to sit in during this session with a different device in a different room as there will be a separate breakout room for parents and children respectively to address this topic. So remember everybody, sign up on Church Centre app right now. Join us every Saturday at 2pm and 4pm for Zoom Hangout and on Sundays at 4pm for Zoom Play Day. Parents and children, remember to download this week's activity sheets on the website. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to follow us on GTPJ Kids on Instagram. Have a great weekend ahead everyone! See you next week! Bye!